Hey everybody, I hadn't made a video in a while, uh, and this one's going to just sort of be off-the-cuff thoughts as they flow out of me on the topic of taking time off from our instrument, uh, both when we just want to enjoy life and also when we're injured and our body is telling us that we need some time off. I feel like there's this culture uh, among musicians, but especially brass players, uh, that we need to be like grinding it out every day, right? We always have to be working. We need time on the horn in order to like at least maintain, if not get better. And that's true to a certain extent, but also I think it's a little bit unhealthy to always be so concerned about playing your instrument, playing your instrument, playing your instrument. Now, uh, earlier this week, I suffered a little bit of an injury that left me with a, a pretty bad lesion on the inside of my lower gum that made it really uncomfortable for me to play. Uh, I kept playing through it because I was supposed to have a gig this week, which ended up getting canceled uh, due to some COVID restrictions that were put back in place in my uh, area. Uh, but anyways, I, I didn't know until the day of that the gig wasn't going to happen. So even after I got injured, I kept playing because I told myself, I have this gig coming up. I got to just fight through it. And it wasn't fun. I did not enjoy those three days of practicing. And if I could go back in time and know that the gig was canceled, I would stop playing. Um, it's just better if we can, if we have the time to do so, if we can just listen to our body, let it heal, and then come back to the instrument when we are ready and mentally and physically. Um, and then the second thing that I mentioned was taking time off just to enjoy life. Tomorrow I'm, I'm heading out on a vacation that'll have me off the horn for around 10 days, uh, which is a long time, especially right before the start of the academic year. Um, so I, I have to hit the ground running when I get back with teaching obligations and performing obligations and ensembles and, and whatnot. Um, but when I'm going on this trip, I'm not going to bring a trombone with, I'm not going to bring a mouthpiece with, not going to really bother doing any sort of mental practice or anything of that sort, uh, because I feel like I just deserve a week plus off to recharge. So that way when I come back, I feel really uh, energized. I feel like I missed my trombone, like I'm excited to get back with it. I think if we're like forcing ourselves to be so dedicated to the instrument that we're willing to bring our mouthpiece across the world with us and carve out 15 minutes a day to buzz, um, that we're just, it's just not gonna be a super healthy relationship with our instrument. Um, it's just like, like a friendship that we have. We don't see our best friends every single day of our lives. And if we see them a lot, we can get sick of them. But once we have a little bit of time apart, when we get back together, it's like everything is grand and happy and, and cheerful. And that's sort of how I think about my relationship with the trombone. So um, I guess we'll leave the video at that. Don't be afraid to take time off. It's important to practice, but it's also important to enjoy some time away from the instrument when we want time away from the instrument and when we need time away from the instrument. Bye everyone.